I see something very shocking in comments sometimes. It happens on any news story regarding any sort of serious crime. Anything where people can comment on such a thing is a good example of this. Or perhaps people might create a Facebook page dedicated to their view on something of that nature. What I see is right out in the open. It's a truly vicious display of bloodlust. The person doesn't even have to be proven guilty either. They can just be accused. The worse the crime, the more certain people are of the accused person's guilt. Even crimes that don't normally get the death penalty may have people crying out for blood. Of course, there are plenty of comments about hell, too. They don't seem to have any problem with infinite torture for a finite crime. The first problem I see is that society has gotten to the point where they consider people guilty on nothing but the probable cause needed to make an arrest. At that point, they consider the person guilty unless there is rock-solid evidence they couldn't have done it. The problem is, the legal system seems to agree. All too often, it seems like prosecutors don't want to let a case go unless there is proof the accused is not guilty. The principle, innocent until proven guilty, seems to be long gone. People seem to think that evidence showing someone is probably guilty is good enough. It's supposed to be beyond a reasonable doubt. However, we would just be too utterly butthurt if some bad guys get away. Misconduct of prosecutors happens, but that's a separate issue beyond what I want to focus on here. So I'm just talking about the low standards of evidence to prove guilt. It seems to be a deep-seated issue with people that is coming out more and more. This issue, of course, comes up in sentencing, too. Politicians seem to run successfully on a tough-on-crime platform. People have this strong bloodlust. They want to see punishment. They call it justice, but it's just about punishing the wicked. The tough sentencing and low standards of proof seem to be a result of not wanting to let something like the Constitution get in the way of society's moral outrage. Protecting the innocent seems to have gone by the wayside, as I mentioned. But this problem continues when sentencing the guilty as well. There is no longer any consideration for the practical side of justice like protecting the public, rehabilitation, and restitution. No. All that is entirely eclipsed by handing out punishment. People want to punish the wicked above all else. Nothing else matters when they are drunk with a compulsion to sate their collective bloodlust. No cost is too high when there are evil people to be punished. Not only does this destroy the legal system by nullifying all the things that matter in regard to justice, it's also a completely ridiculous idea. First, people have this black and white view of good and evil. They also think these moral standards are some kind of objective truth. They can't accept that there is something concrete and specific that is wrong with someone. They just attribute it to evil, as if they just happen to be like that by magic. It's as if a baby is born and decides, I'm going to be evil. That sounds great. That's how my life will be. I could even understand saying that someone did something evil. That can at least make sense as a colloquialism. However, saying that someone is simply evil in some existential way is just silly. Then there is this idea of punishment. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. When people justify it, you will see they normally argue for things other than punishment. The funny thing is, those are the things punishment negates. Those are also the things that satisfy them on that twisted emotional level. Justice is supposed to be about rehabilitating a person, maybe paying restitution if possible. If nothing else, it can take the simple, pragmatic approach of protecting the public from certain people. But that's not what people want. They want vengeance, plain and simple. 
this is based on the idea that two wrongs somehow make a right. Three lefts, maybe, but not two wrongs. I can understand a crime victim being overcome with emotion and wanting to see that. It would be almost impossible not to feel that way. There really isn't an excuse for anyone else, though. It's a completely flawed idea. The sad thing is, there is a great deal of social acceptance for indulging one's darkest and most twisted emotions. Nobody looks at it that way. They also can't see how absurd the concept is. Neither do they have any clue that this very thing is destroying the justice system. Far too many of the human race seems to be little better than chimpanzees. I'm amazed that we aren't still to this day standing on the savannas of Africa throwing feces at each other. That's what American politics and society looks like to me. Just a bunch of dumb apes flinging shit at each other. Just look at some of the leaders running for office. I've gotten more intellectual stimulation listening to monkeys screech at the zoo. So, I really think the state of the legal system, the increased police brutality we see, and the eroding of our rights has much to do with the hedonistic indulgence of our most perverse desires.